all, welcome to John's Bottle Making. Today we got the Titanic, yes, issue 93. This is the first of the two cranes that we get this month. Excellent. Let's have a quick look at the instructions and the magazine to see what it fully entails. Okay, up, issue 93. There we go. Coming in issue 94. Crane base, body, jib, and cable hook. Connecting pin, hinge pins, washer columns, tie rods, and screws. Excellent. So we already know about the uh, second crane. And in the magazine, The Gilded Age of Cunard, part three. That's an excellent read. Lusitania and the Mauritania. Yep. Wouldn't mind having a ride on one of those little beauties. And here we have the first loading crane. So we get some small nose plies with us. And we get the crane base, crane body, rear and front, hook connecting pin, long hinge pin, short hinge pin, washer, crane jib, left tie rod, right tie rod, and crane cable, and HP screws too. Of. So we've got a little bit of fiddly work to do. Getting this put together. Here we go, pins. Ooh, there's a long pin, there's a short pin. Hopefully it won't be too bad because we've got to do it all again in issue 94. That is what we're left with. Excellent stuff. There we go. Completed work. Excellent. So without further ado, let's get on with the build. Okay, up. Oh, here we have the parts. Let's get them out. There we go. Those are the parts. These are tiny. <laughs> Look at that. HP screws and the pliers and that is the base so we need to separate all these because we don't need all of these just yet we need these pieces so we need 93e which is this piece 93c which is this and 93l which is that piece there and basically i'll take that put that over there like that and then we have to insert this into here if it will go which it has done brilliant that looks pretty good already <laughs> fiddly 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 it's gone all the way through excellent stuff next we need to combine these together and that will go that little peg there at the top will go in there let's move that out of the way and that will go there like so excellent that looks like it's going to come out which it has done okay let's try that again managed to get it off that little peg at the top didn't go in place and it's there now there we go that's nicely in place now quite fiddly that that top piece there 93e was a little bit loose but there we go that's how it should be yep next we need this piece which goes just there like that and we need to pop in the long pin to keep that in place okay I've managed to pick up the pin now we can start by putting it through here we'll try this first put the smooth end in first I can go just there like that move that out of the way pop that there and we can see we can push that all the way through get the pliers on it ever so gently it has gone through there we go there we go got it that was fiddly yep but you can see it there excellent and that end is not loose there we go looking great 
excellent so that pin has gone fully through next we need the hook which will go in here and we need that washer and this little pin which goes let's see Snap that off there. Now the hook, we must make sure we get the right way around. Yep. So that can go there like so. And then we can push that slightly more way through. Will it go through? Should do. There we go. Wiggle it along. slightly need to push that through a little bit more I think now if I get the hook it's quite delicate this plastic just there like that hopefully we can push this through a little bit more okay so we got the pin through and the hook now we need the washer and we can put the wire in afterwards I think so if I've just put that washer in through there like so there we go that's caught onto the pin so before we put the pin fully through we can try and put turn this round the wire yeah there we go and now we should be able to push the pin through there we go let's cut that there we go and Does that come through yep it has come through there we go so we've got the wire through we just need to push the pin through now fully let's see if we can uh push more of it through with my fingers because that yeah that way is fine i think get that wire stretched a little bit There we go, that's come through. That should hold that nice and bonny now. Just make sure you line everything up. Oh, you can see. Hopefully you can see, yeah, the pin has come through now. Excellent. And that wire is now trapped in place. Yeah excellent you can see it bowing uh, brilliant that was fiddly and there's the hook really really fiddly <laughs> okay now i finally got that pin all the way through using my pliers you can see they've got some heat shrink on so it actually gave it a bit more a bit of a better chance of getting through um but now that is nice and tight excellent now all we need is to put these two little pieces on here and here and there is a little slot just there um i don't know if you can see that or not there we go finally you can see it just on the left hand side of that pin okay now to get these in place okay now i've adjusted the camera now that is supposed to go in there 
in that little hole there if it will <laughs> but that's even proven to be difficult and that needs to go let's see that needs to go there all the way here Fiddly. Okay, let's give that another whirl. Let's see. I need to get at least one side in before the other side will pop into place. There we go. Thankfully. And tweezers. Let's get the tweezers out. managed it that is rather fiddly now let's do the other side okay again we need one ending oops thought got it then I hope you can see this all right Fiddly, fiddly, fiddly D. And that one's gone in. Straight away. There we go. Just look a bit fiddly. Best thing with these two pieces of wire is try and pop it at that end and then flick it over with your fingernail or with some instruments anyway. Oh, see, that one's come out there. I think that hole is a tad too big for that. So that might be a case of a little bit of glue because it did go in the hole there you go well that's not going to stay in I don't think uh, okay well, there we go I popped a little bit of super glue on there and that should hold that nice and bonny now all we need to do is to marry these two up and that will go pop the base on it's got some nice detail on the base ladders I think that's a door probably you just about see that yeah that's that nicely in place and we connect that together with a HP screw now you don't need to fully tighten this screw because you want this crane to be able to rotate just to keep it on top there there we go as long as that moves around which it does we're good we're good to go finally excellent let's get the promenade deck here we have the promenade deck now this is just the push fit connection obviously you want that to be able to rotate like that that's brilliant and one location peg in there and just push it into place Even this is a tight fit. There we go, that goes around there. Excellent. There we go. So that's the first crane in place. Brilliant. I think that looks fantastic myself. Yeah, really, really friendly. Um, yeah best advice is put the pin part way through put the hook on put the washer on and then push the pin through but not fully because you don't want to tighten that up too much you can't get that hook on uh, that wired hook into place once you've got the wire into place then tighten it up and there we go there it is the first crane excellent stuff looking brilliant 
There we go. That's from the front camera. Looking superb. Excellent. Now we know what issue 94 is exactly the same, but we also get some additional pieces that go in here, 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 and here. Excellent stuff. But that is issue 93 complete. Oh, there we go, guys. That is issue 93 completed. There we go. There it is. That crane looking absolutely superb. <laughs> very, very fiddly. It really is. Um, I didn't nearly throw it through a window, but uh, <laughs> we're far off. But it does look brilliant. I can uh, see why it's just one issue, this. Uh, we have got issue 94 exactly the same. Um, so, yeah. Um, the only thing I can think of is to try and keep it as steady as possible when you're putting these wires on. Maybe I should have used some uh, blue tack. I have got some somewhere. There we are. Um, to balance it. Well, not balance it. To keep it steady. Uh, but you saw how fiddly it was. Um, tweezers just weren't my friend uh, for this. Um, no, not try and get the eyelets over them uh, here and here. No. Uh, use my fingernail, as you saw. But it's done. Uh, issue 94 I'll try and get up on my channel as soon as possible but that is it for issue 93 so if you did like that give us a big thumbs up subscribe hit that notification bell and have a very very merry Christmas and a happy new year and I'll see you in the new year um, well sorry no I won't see you in the new year I'll see you see you soon for issue 94 getting all into a fluster out <laughs> I don't know it's that time of year but anyway thanks for tuning in and watching stay safe see you soon bye for now